5,190 pounds, an absolute cream puff of a Rockwood Murphy bed mini light bunkhouse here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Now you see that little brown stripe on either side of the mini light logo on the front? That's an indicator this is not just a 2019. That was added in what was called the late 2019, early 2020 generation. Uh, basically what that means is there's gonna be some updates and upgrades here that the previous 19s didn't have. Now on top of that, the previous owners also did some nice things. Like they actually replaced the lock set uh, so that it has a, uh, a power deadbolt complete with like keyless entry. You'll see over here the normal Rockwood side mount grilling station right below the TV hookup. But also this has the revised updated uh, outside kitchen with larger capital grill. So that's all good news. You can really feed the whole family without smoking yourselves out of the camper. But on top of that, you'll notice the previous owners, having done some serious traveling, picked up a second spare tire, but they got all original factory hardware for it, which I thought was really, really cool. And even though it's on the shady side of the RV, it's a little harder to see. You'll see that this also has the backup camera installed in that little prep mount. So there's some stuff on here that wasn't even there factory standard. And what's kind of cool is you're going to get all that at a used RV price tag and still save. Now you're going to hear me talk about the update generation on this a few times, but this thing looks awful familiar to me because this is basically exactly how we always built them here at Halet RV. With the maple uh, hardwood cabinet door upgrade, you've got the chocolate furniture, the wood print flooring over here. So there's uh, you know, a lot of familiarity in this RV with me. As I mentioned, the update generation giving us things like that handy cinema sofa right there with the recliner style kind of theater seat um, you know, uh, simulating kickouts. Uh, a little uh, handy tip from your Uncle Josh RV nerd, by the way. You've got some power outlets over here that are handy, but you've also got a switch for the lights. That is for the two lights directly above the bed here. A lot of people kind of miss that when they first get into these. Now you can see how you've got uh, normal, you know, hanging stands and dresser drawers and things like that. That's because while this turns into a nice super slide equivalent living room during the day, you actually get awesome sleeping in the evening all in one camper without the length of a 30 foot model. That's what's cool about these Murphy beds. But when it is time to call it a day, this Rockwood comes with that easy lift and lower one piece safety locking Murphy bed, Whew, which is which is a lot of names to call one thing, but it's because it's all of those things. Rockwood has been doing Murphy beds like this longer than anybody. I would argue that they've pretty much got the best system out there. They're the one that everybody else in Murphy beds is chasing and uh, they've just been doing it better, stronger, longer. Now, this being of that updated generation that I mentioned, um, up here, uh, well, first a quick note, you still maintain that beautiful front windshield, which if you don't wanna put the bed away during the day, you can leave that up and just make the whole camper look and feel nice and large. But below that, the updated generation includes that handy headboard, and over here in that corner, you can see uh, a power outlet. Now, it's doing a couple things for us. It's nice for CPAPing and phone charging, but it's also the power supply for the heated mattress that you have here. So if it is a little bit chilly, you got a crazy cross breeze kind of breezing down the camper, it is really nice that you can get that little kind of toasty heater. I'm one of those people that, like, I used to hear, uh, you know, oh, I got heated seats in my car, and I was like, whatever, I don't need that. And then the moment you get heated seats in your car, like, this is the best thing ever, and I'm never going back. Another cool feature here is this does include a privacy curtain, so if you are wanting that visual break point between you and the kids or the guests, it's very handy, especially when you do utilize this big true U dinette, the big seven foot by 42 inch deep sleeper dinette over here via that uh, floating kind of fold down table. Since these two sleeping spaces are right next to one another, it is really nice just to kind of, you know, break the visual line of sight. You're still gonna hear each other breathe and in a way you're still breathing each other's air, but I don't know, there is something different about it. I like that. And taking a second to crack everything open here again, you've got normal dual hanging closets on either side of the bed. I love the large side stands, but maintaining the dresser drawer is awesome. And this is something that Rockwood does so well. This extra cabinet, you notice how it's built and kind of tucked away hidden inside of the slide itself. It is giving us either additional pantry space, dresser space, uh, and because these are adjustable removable shelves, also additional hanging space if needed. Now, you don't necessarily have to use that as a pantry. You can see how they're still giving us full storage overhead in the slide, but 
you do still have a dedicated pantry over here against that far wall. So it's a very flexible space that really has just a ton of capacity. Now, not to be outdone, the dinette gets in on the action with a pair of full extension drawers. We'll peek under the rear bench from the outside because Rockwood's kind enough to give us uh, an access door to that rear bench from the exterior. And you'll actually get to see that that is an all-aluminum skeleton piece of furniture. Basically, anything Rockwood builds, even if it's furniture, if they build it in-house, they build it with an aluminum skeleton. It's all pocket-screwed cabinetry. I mentioned earlier the hardwood cabinet door maple upgrade. And you can see there with that free-floating table... Uh, you know, you can very easily, like, move that around, you can get to storage, you've seen it already folded down into a sleeper, you can take it outside for picnic time if needed. But what I like is when you're in dining mode, you can shove the table to one side or the other a little bit, because, like, I'm bigger than my wife and kid around the midsection, so I kind of like to exploit that free-floating table feature. <laughs> You can see inset into that solid surface counter is a nice stainless double base and sink when we get those cutting board and dish training covers out of the way. And then this right here, they were the, the folks who own this were a little bit ahead of their time. So this is the classic Rockwood extra large kitchen countertop extension, but they modified it so that it's actually attached to and hinges against the uh, counter itself so that you don't have to, you know, attach it, detach it. It just drops the leg down and you're sturdy and good to go. I think I would throw a wastebasket under that little prep table area. I think that's perfect. Now, the newer Rockwoods do that, but with a smaller little kind of flip stand. I think this is really cool what they did here. And uh, partially obscuring our larger 22-inch oven right now, which is another cool thing Rockwood does, are those plywood drawers down to the floor. And that is a full breeze window on the kitchen, by the way. As we pivot our way around, once again, another one of those updated generation things I mentioned uh, peeking into view. The larger 8 cubic foot two-way fridge right there, gas and electric capacity, so you can find some way to use it and some form of fuel pretty much anywhere you go. And it is worth noting that you do have centralized air conditioner in this smaller camper. Just one of those things that will help this thing uh, cool a little more effectively. Another area where I believe this little Rockwood 2509 has always separated itself and made itself very popular here at Halet RV, well, I guess down the street at Halet RV with this being Halet RV Brokers, is that flip-up cargo bunk styling right there. Although you do have that handy little uh, cargo net you can remove at the bottom if you want. And I always felt like on a rainy day, that'd be an awesome little kind of play corner for kids. You ever notice, you go to the park if there's something that looks like a little ice cream shop, the kids just set up shop and start playing all day. I'm a grown-up. Of course, I got a 10-year-old sense of humor, so maybe that helps. But that's exactly what I'd be doing on a rainy day. I'd be sitting in there with my kid playing Legos or something. And I like the colors in here. It's, it's warm and welcoming. It's not too dark and oppressive. Part of what's helping us there is an awesome killer lighting package, but also the fact that this does have a mini vaulted roof. It opens it up and lets it look and feel larger in here. It kind of breathes a little bit more nicely. For entertainment, um, an unconventional but a Effective TV position right here allows this TV to be viewed directly from any seat in the house, whether it's the bed or cinema sofa, I guess we could call it, the dinette, um, or you could even dismount it and take it outside. And remember, you didn't lose that storage, they just kind of moved it over to that wall, or frankly, it's probably a little easier to access regardless. Um, solid surface counter, we'll see that in a little bit more detail in just a minute, but first over here, our entertainment stuff is down here where it's easy to reach, thankfully, and never one to waste a space. Rockwood always does little things like this, where if there's a pocket, they do something with it, they never waste an opportunity for storage. You won't find heat vents in the floor, however. They did uh, go heatless, well, not heatless, I'm sorry, ventless floor heating in this thing right here. Notice over here we've got that handy uh, ladder for access to the upper bed. It's little details like that that kind of help separate Rockwood from a lot of brands. But first, in this little kitchen, you've got decent prep space with that peninsula countertop. But then Rockwood takes it up another level. And then back to bunk and ladder mode. One of the things I wanted to show you is that you can open and close that bathroom completely unimpeded. The ladder does not get in the way, which is really cool here. The... Uh, Bathroom itself, very nicely appointed. There's plenty of room in here. And then little things like, I call it Rockwood doing Rockwood things. The little extra shelf up top for stuff like your... Um, <laughs> uh, I've been told that's a, uh, a beer holder on the right-hand side there. I've never tested it personally. It actually looks like it's just about the right size for a 16-ounce can, though, doesn't it? Um, a uh, full medicine cabinet, window on the wall over here, just nice touches. But up top... You're going to find a larger, like, Max Air style vent fan to give you some superior airflow in this thing, complete with roof vent cover from the factory level. 
with the vaulted ceiling and it is laminated it allows them to place that skylight exactly where you need it so that when you are standing directly in front of that shower head even a tall person like me has plenty of room in here now you can see how the previous owners replaced the shower head they've got the handy shower caddy there from rockwood so that your you know your soaps and things actually have a place to hang out although the previous owners actually modified very gently obviously these corner shelves with a couple kind of little bracket jobs so that they can actually keep you know like some body washes in there without them constantly falling on the floor and you have plenty of hip shoulder leg room around this this is a fluffy friendly bathroom oh yeah one more quick little thing this is built during that update generation so it does have the shower miser just like the geo pros if you don't know what that is, give us a call. We'll walk you through it. The skin, the decals, the tires, everything looking good. I don't see, you know, like nasty weather exposure having eaten away at this stuff. Frameless window package on this looking good. Uh, also, those are egress style windows, meaning they tilt open so you can get some very good kind of rainy day airflow. 30 pound propane tanks is another thing Rockwood does on these mini lights. Uh, a lot of people don't catch or appreciate basically it uh, gives you 50 percent more propane capacity before you have to go worry about exchanging bottles now i'm, I'm kind of curious as to why that's that's an aftermarket power tongue jack so i don't know if their original power tongue jack maybe gave up the ghost or if this was one of a very small number of these that potentially got built without a power tongue jack but I, I don't I don't really think that was the case anyway uh, slide awning from the factory level right there I always like it whenever anything's factory installed I really have good feelings and our team here at Halo RV does good work and actually any work we do we stand behind it for a year uh, but it is nice to know when something's factory done and uh, these folks were from Indiana but as you can see they got around they didn't just hang out here in the Midwest it kind of looks like they started in the Midwest and then they just went uh, all the way over here, then from California, all the way up through the western Canadian provinces, even taking a touch in Alaska by the looks of things. Then again, I've always kind of wondered, you know, it's like I actually learned how to play guitar, but I always wondered if it would be easier if I just carried a couple guitar picks in my pocket. Then people would see me when I'm grabbing change out of my pocket, think I play guitar, but I never actually had to learn. I always wonder if it'd be easier if you just stuck the stickers on one of those maps and then told people you went there. <laughs> Sorry, that's just the, the random things that run through my head. Now, behind the uh, closet pantry adjustable combo in the slide, you see that vertical door on the slide out. There's storage on the outside of that as well. It only goes half the depth of the slide. One thing I said we'd definitely take a look at over here is below the dinette because you can see that it actually wraps the storage wraps all the way around both sides of the u dinette and again this is all a uh welded aluminum cage under here in case you're wondering what those two wires are this rv has two batteries equipped on it right now but they were kind of disconnected so i just took the jumper wires off there real quick so people didn't think there was some kind of nightmare issue going on with it um the uh all the hookups located right behind the slide right there brilliant location for it and you can see a outside shower and a black tank flush now the uh this is a great unit for traveling like the previous folks used it for because it does include a four wheel independent torsion axle and suspension system long story short it's one of the best suspension systems available out there uh, to give you an idea of how well it works rockwood does not use airstream suspension it's the other way around Rockwood has been using it, and Airstream later adopted Rockwood's suspension system. So, you know, the most expensive travel trailers ever known to man on the planet Earth said, yeah, this is definitely the best way to go. I think that's pretty encouraging. We already mentioned the backup camera prep and the additional spare tire using all factory hardware. We've already looked at the camp kitchen. I think we are ready to head upstairs. And coming in as a surprise to absolutely nobody, the roof looks fantastic. So this RV has an all-aluminum skeleton. We're walking on a laminated roof right now, which feels very sturdy underfoot. Um, it does have a 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor decking. The floor is about the only non-laminated thing in this RV, so very heavy-duty construction. The Wi-Fi Ranger Sky 4 system, the updated variety, is that update generation giving us greater um, signal retention and, uh, you know, length there. And again, we talked about the Max Air vent fan on top of the big Max Air fan in the bathroom. Well, the vent fan cover. I'm sorry, let me phrase that properly. But I mean, the seals, everything up here, it looks good. 
I mean, everything up here looks really, really good. Um, I got a feeling the folks went out, had a good time, used her quite a bit, and then after a couple big trips went, you know, I think I've, I've scratched the RV itch that I had for a while and I'm probably good and I suspect that's the only reason it's here because this looks like it was built with the intentions, or pardon me, bought with the intentions of some serious long-term ownership and maybe they just camped themselves out a little early. I don't know. Whatever the case may be, you folks at home are going to be the ones to benefit from this. So uh, give us a call. Hail at RV Brokers. We do it all. Hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, RV delivery, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun. And happy Halet Camp and everyone.